Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shimwork, and as always, I am back with another banger for you guys. And today, I'm going over five, yes, five habits that make people dislike you. That sounds interesting. Let's hop into it. Number one, which is you are always preaching. I cannot stress this enough. I've had friends that always preach about what they have, whether it's a brand new car, a brand new house, you know, a brand new girlfriend, just anything that they brag about. And they're constantly preaching to me about it. And like, to me, it doesn't matter how much money you make, how how many cars you have, how, how much your house is how much you know you paid for your car it doesn't matter to me and it shouldn't matter to other people but for some odd reason people think that because they have the nice the nicest car the nicest house the nicest girlfriend that sort of thing that they're on the they're on a pedestal they're on a pedestal and they keep constantly preaching and preaching and preaching on the things that they have and I it it irks me, it bugs me to think that people actually think or these people think that they actually care. That people care what this person is talking about and has and you know and they they're they're just not in reality because the reality is nobody cares on how much money you make, how many cars you have, how many houses you have, how many girlfriends you had, that stuff like that. And it's just like, no. People that constantly preach about, you know, what they have, you know, and what they need, and you know, all this stuff. It like no, it's just no, it's just not right. It should no. It it feels like they're on a pedestal and they're constantly nagging and it, judging uh, and it's it's just annoying, and it feels like they're that that they're judging you in a way, and it, it irks me to you know talk to these people because it, it it just feels I feel bad, you know that people like this have to you know constantly you know preach to me about you know what they have and you know and it, it just it's bad, you know it it's just really really bad and. Uh, without, I'm, I want to move on because I could talk about all day about that. Let's move on to the next point. Number two, which is you are a mooch. More specifically, what I mean by mooch is basically someone that always asks, asks, but never gives. If you're going to be somebody that always asks for money, you know, fame, you know, stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you straight to your face that you're not going to get what you want in life if you constantly ask for things and never give back. If you're constantly asking stuff from people, yeah, they're going to give it to you if you pay people back. If people think that you're not going to give them what they what they want back like they're not going to give it to you don't be that person that asks for something and doesn't you know give stuff back like it, that's not that's just not right and for somebody that just i've known people like that. They ask me for something, I give it to them, and they don't give me stuff back. And it's just like, then what's the point? Like, what's the point of me giving you something if you're not going to repay me back? Like, no, that, no, that, that's only, that's only a one-way street. That's just not right. It should be a two-way street, not one way. You, someone giving some, some person one thing, and the other person not giving something back, like, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. And, like, people, you, they don't give handouts. That, that, that 
that's just the way it is. If you don't have enough money to go to the bar with your friends, don't go. Or, um, I, I know, I know this is gonna sound harsh, and don't take it this way, but get a job. That's all I can say to that. That that's all I can say. And that's just how it is. Moving on. Number three, which is you are a mama's boy. You are a mom's boy. What what can I say? If you're what I mean by mama's boy, you're always asking for your mom's approval. You're a grown man. When you reach a certain age, you should not be asking your mom for her approval or your for your dad's approval. You're your own man. Or your woman. You're your own man. Do make decisions for yourself. You can't constantly be asking for mom's approval. Because let's face it. Let's face it. I know this is the cold hard truth. And I apologize. But I'm just being fair and just fully out with you guys. Mommy's not going to be there one day. To ask for her approval. Sorry. That's just the cold hard truth. I'm sorry. That's, that's just how it is. I'm sorry. hate to say that, but that's how it is. Mommy's not going to be there one day for your approval. You have to go out. Be a man. Take control of your life. Make decisions on your own. Be a man that you're supposed to be. Do manly things. Be a man. Take control of your life as a man. Number four, which is you are a downer. Man, I hate these people so much. They're constantly, constantly putting people down. I hate that. I freaking hate that. You ever everybody knows that I that I come across, whether it's at work, you know, people, you know, that I talk to, people at my work even know, you know, even you guys, you know, I try to spread positivity as much as I possibly can. As much as I possibly can. I'm, I was always a positive guy. I always saw the, uh, the good side in people and situations. But there was always somebody that would tell me that, you know, it's not going to go this way. Sorry, Sean. You know, it's not, it's not going to be the way you plan. That's a downer. Telling me that I can't do it. That I will not succeed. And that I hate so freaking much. I cannot tell you how many times I've been just blittered. And baffled by how many people have doubted me and put me down day in and day out. And you know what? You know what? I prove them wrong. I will prove them wrong. I, I will make sure that that is my motivation. I will make that pain. That pain that is in my heart, that is in my soul, to prove them wrong. I will make my pain my inspiration. I will make them wrong. I will prove them wrong. That nothing, that nothing is impossible. That no situation is impossible. And that 
and I know, and I know, I'm just saying this for myself, but I'm saying this to you guys. Do not, I repeat, do not let anybody tell you that you can't do something. You, you, and you alone make your own decisions. You, if you have a dream, I've told you guys this many, many times. If you have a dream, go for it. Do not let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Because you are you. You have a dream. If you have a dream, whether it's become a welder, doctor, nurse, whatever, whatever it is, go for it. Do not let anybody tell you different. If you have a dream, go for it. Make, yes, you all, you will have doubters throughout your path, but do not let those doubters tell you that you can't make it. Prove those doubters wrong. Make that pain from those doubters your inspiration to succeed. Because if you do that, be resilient. Stay resilient. Fight through that pain. And make that pain your inspiration to succeed in life. I know I'm kind of preaching here, but you know what? It's the truth. It's the freaking cold hard truth. Do not let anybody tell you different. You have your path. Take it. And do not let anybody tell you different. You, you are your own person. Be resilient. Make your pain your inspiration. Done. Done. Block out all the haters. Block out all the doubters. Prove the doubters wrong that you can do it. That's what I do on a daily basis. I prove to all my doubters wrong. Every single day that I wake up, I prove my doubters wrong. That I can make it. And with my YouTube channel, people, even when I started my YouTube channel, people doubted me from day one. And that is my motivation to keep going, to keep making these videos. My goal for my YouTube channel was to make positive videos for people to watch. My whole point of making my YouTube channel was to help people in bad situations. If they're having a bad day, they can go on my YouTube channel and watch a video to make them feel better. And if I can make one person, one person feel better by the end of the day or make somebody feel better, Whenever they're watching me, if I can make somebody feel better that day, I have accomplished, you would not even believe. If I can make one person, just one person, that's all it takes. If I can make one person laugh with my videos, that makes me happy. That makes me happy from the bottom of my heart. That is my, from my soul, from my heart. That makes me happy because I know in the bottom of my heart and my soul that I did something right. I know, I know I'm preaching. I know this video is taking very, very long and should not even be this long, but I wanted to say this. We, I know we have one more point to go. But I, I just wanted to point this out to you guys, that nothing is impossible. Drain all the doubters. Prove all the doubters wrong. Be you. I apologize, this video should not have been this long. 
and let's move on to number five, and then we'll close out this video. I, I apologize that point number four, which is it, it got to me. It got to me, and I'm glad I said it. I'm glad that I said it. Moving on to number five, the fifth and final thing, which is you are clingy. Don't be that person that clingy, that's clingy. I had a girlfriend that was always clingy, always wanted to know where I was, you know, where I was every single day and night and all this stuff. Like, don't be that person. Don't be that person that is constantly clean. Cause let's face it, it and it, it's not gonna it's not gonna be good for you. Point taken. And that's basically it for this video, guys. That is five bad that is five habits that make people dislike you. If you guys found this video for a minute, make sure make sure to drop a big fat like on this video. Oh, excuse me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. We are on the road to four. 100 subscribers. Let's do it with this video. If you guys haven't already, go jump a follow on all my social media. That'll be all in the description below. And if you guys have any comments, concerns, anything, let me know down in the comments below as well. I read all your comments and I get, I hope to respond to you guys as much as I possibly can because you guys mean the world to me. You guys are my motivation to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing and it really means a lot to me. And uh, hopefully, in the next, there, there, there's, there's some things that I can't tell you right now, but uh, in the future, there's definitely going to be um, some uh, amazing things coming your way. Put it that way. There's going to be some amazing things coming your way. So stay tuned. Thank you for continuing with me on this journey. It's been it's been a bumpy road, but uh, with your help and with your continuous support, we can uh, we can make an impact. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you guys so much. Be resilient. Make your pain your inspiration. And. Uh, just be you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I don't see the next video, I'll be mad, bro. Till next time, it's your boy, Shapotaker. Peace.